right. Um, my name is Ben Haslam. I've been going to uh, Bridgerland here since June of 2015, um, mostly part-time as I'm working full-time on another job. Um, I'm Mike Turner, Controls Engineering and Robotics student here at BATC. Um, I started in October 2015. I'm about three-quarters of the way done. So, um, Let's just start with uh, what we started with for this project. We literally just started with the table and a robot that was uh, the BATC was actually trying to get rid of. So we're like, hey, let's use that. Don't sell it. So um, this is a little bit different than the other projects because it's mobile. Um, we made sure that it can be pulled around. Everything is kind of tucked under and uh, it operates, has the same components and everything, but it's just completely mobile. Um, Bridgerland wanted to use this um, idea for recruitment events and career days for the high school kids. So mobility, portability was our main goal. Um, the HMI folds down, the drawer closes completely. We tried to keep all of the hoses and wiring self-contained underneath. We do have, um, to meet the requirements that Matt outlined, Here's our human machine interface. It's a Panel View Plus 600 by Alan Bradley. We're running a small conveyor that we built out of VEX robotics parts because we couldn't find a conveyor in our, our lab that, that fit the bill. Um, our pneumatic element is a little catapult that we like to call the puck chucker. And that's what returns the puck to this side. We went with the conveyor because we wanted the robot to have as much reach as possible on the table and it put it too close to this little putt tray to reach down and grab it. So we, we built the conveyor. Um, it has through beam sensors that are in each goal. That will count up the score through the PLC program that we have. That's also the I.O. for the conveyor to run. We have an IR sensor in the conveyor that senses when a puck is there and allows uh, the, the catapult to operate and shut off the conveyor at that time. We are running a compact Logix, I believe it's a 175920L. Um, one of the main goals we wanted on the wiring and everything that we have in our project was user friendliness and to be able to troubleshoot it. Our wiring we tried to keep clean and organized. We labeled everything um, and we did the same with our PLC program. And uh, with the robot programming, most of the processing is done within the robot controller. Um, as you can see on the Cognex system, we really only have uh, two two uh, points that are processing. It's really not doing very much. But um, within the robot controller, it's processing quite a bit. It's uh, it's going within its limits. Um, if it, if the puck is sensed within its limits, then it scoots uh, left and right just kind of guarding the goal. And then if it's outside, then it'll go out and hit it. So it prepares and uh, kind of draws a path towards the puck to uh, prepare and process for where it needs to go. That's pretty much how that side works. Um, as far as our PLC and HMI, um, that's controlling all of our inputs and outputs, um, HMI interface. The PLC puts out the outputs, which then become the inputs on the robot controller side. We do also have outputs wired up from the robot to send some signals back to the PLC. Um, anyway, operation-wise, we have a demo mode because at uh, demo mode and full access mode. The demo mode, when we go to career days or other recruiting events, we have long lines of people. We don't want them to play forever. So the demo mode is a default one point game. You're allowed to select a puck shape and that sends the, the input to the robot to run that routine to select the, the desired puck. If we go back and go to full access mode, we're allowing the user to select either a three point, a seven point, or 11 point game. So um, 
if anybody wants to come up and then uh, we'll explain the system as it's running. So the robot gets in start position and it triggers that uh, from the input on the HMI, flicks the puck out. That does finds it. Um, the robot the robot user frame is set up on the origin is set up on the origin of the grid that we calibrated on. So that's pretty much how it knows where to go and it offsets from that position. Um, from the trajectory that is based off that puck. So that's pretty much how it processes. That's pretty much our project. Um, if you have any questions, let us know. If not, we'll uh, turn the time over to one of the other groups.